explain. Expository, explain. Just sit down back You can start with the same two letters. Okay. Same three letters. ESP. Okay. Now we're going to go through A, B, C, D to do all the steps that we need to do to write our paper. Anybody know what the A stands for? Um, uh, close. What is it when you take something apart, you look at it, analyze. analyze. Very good. So write that down. We're going to analyze the prompt. Expository or literary or persuasive, whatever it is, you've got to think. You've got to analyze the prompt. You've got to think about all your ideas. You've got to put them in order so they make sense, right? And then you got to write. Are we gonna? Is this telling us what to write about? No. It's no. Giving you an idea. It's giving you an idea. Very good. It's giving you an idea. So let's read it. The digital audio player, also known as the MP3 player, first became available to the general public in 1996. I think about the new technologies that people use in everyday life. Okay. Do you see what we're doing? What are we doing right now? We've okay. already started what process? Brainstorming. Brainstorming. We're already brainstorming and we're not to the prompt yet. Is that okay? Yes, because that's what that's what the read statement and the think statement are supposed to do for us. Like she was saying, this they kind of get us ready for the prompt. So when we're at the think statement, and after we read that, we need to make sure we understand. Yeah. 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 Technology on people's lives. Okay. Q means we're going to circle any words we don't know the meaning of because we need to look them up. Are there words in that prompt that you don't know what they mean that we need to look up? No. Okay. So we're going to go on to the U. U means we're going to underline what the prompt is asking us to do. The task. Explain. explain. So we're going to underline explain. We already talked about expository, always, now and forever. Explain. B means to box. We're going to box in the demands of the prompt. Which means we're going to box in what we need to explain. Okay. We're going to box in what we need to explain. What do we need to explain? The effect of one new technology on people's lives. How many new technologies? One. I'm going to box that word too because that's very important. I can't talk about computers and TVs and radios, I've got to pick one, what kind of technology? New. One new. This is another really important word. I'm going to circle that one. Those are called words that limit. So I can't write about just any technology, right? It has to be one and it has to be new. And that's very important because if I write about 14 old technologies, <laughs> it's going to be wrong. It's going to be wrong. Am I going to get a good score? No. No. It could be a great paper, but will I get a good score? No. Because I didn't write to the point. Okay. Now, how can we turn that into a question? I don't know what's so funny, but what? we need to get it in check. Like, turn this prompt into a question. What is the effect of one technology? Very good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. So write that. What is the effect? What is the effect? Right. What is the effect? What? What is? I'm writing it too. You're just turning it into a question. What is the effect of one? on people's lives. Okay. Think 
about why would I ask you to turn the prompt into a question? Because we're going to write something. We're going to answer. You're going to answer. Very yeah. good. When you write, you're answering the prompt. Very spelling. Don't worry about periods. Don't worry about any of that. You're just going to write. Okay. We'll go back and fix it later. Okay. I want you to write about one new technology and how it affects people's lives. Affects. Affects. What's that word mean? Like it just doing wrong to yeah. uh, Doesn't necessarily mean do wrong. Huh. It's like, what does it do? What does it do? It changes it some way. Effect is a change. It's not positive or negative. So it's not good or bad. It's just a change. So that should have been a word we circled, right, in the prompt? Mm -hmm. So, go. Write about that one, any technology you want to pick. That one new technology and how it changes, how it affects people's lives. Are you a people? Yeah. So can you write about your, how it affects you? Finish that last thought. Put your pencils down. Okay, here's what I want you to do next. I want you to turn around to your partner, and I'll be Mrs. Coplis's. You can be my partner. And I want you to read your brainstorming to each other. So take turns. You don't. You don't have to make comments or just read it. I want you to hear yourself reading it out loud. Okay? Because you wrote something on your paper. I want you to think about that one new technology that you picked. Okay? So whether it was cell phone or iPad or TV, what did you pick? TV. TV, Ms. Hoffman? GPS. GPS. So you're going to stay with that one new technology, right? We can't, we can't switch, right? Because the prompt tells us we can't. And I want you to write more things that you know about how that new technology affects people's lives. So more details. In the same page? The same page. So you just take up where you left off. Keep Finish your sentence that you're on and then stop. I finished my paper. Waiting, I want you to read your paper to yourself all the way through silently to yourself in your head. I want you to think about the examples that you've given already about how that technology affects people's lives. Or I want you to think about, have I been talking about other people? Have I talked some about how it affects my life? Am I giving what I think? Am I giving information? How is information different than what I think? Do you believe? Facts are information okay, that you get from newspapers, from books, from the internet, all kinds of places. I'm going to give you two more minutes to write. I want you to give me a completely different example. So a completely different way that your one new technology affects people's lives or, or your like life. Another like another a, a completely different example. So if you, for example, if you've been giving that it, that it changes or affects your life in a positive way, in a good way, I want you to give me a negative. negative. If you've been given negative, I want you to give me a positive. What about a minute this time? I want you to write a conclusion. So, you're going to reword your answer, or maybe go back and read that first thing that you wrote, maybe that first sentence that you wrote, and write that a different way, because that first sentence you wrote is probably, I don't know, your thesis statement. So you want to say what you've already said, but say it maybe just a little different way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Try it. Let's see what you come up with. It'll be an experiment. You have one minute. So just the first thing that pops in your mind to write. One sentence. You've written. The first time that I ask you to write, when you go back and read that, what part of the paper is that? When, when what? But the first time I ask you to write, I ask you to write everything that you do about uh -huh. that.
technology. When you think about how papers are organized, what would you call that part of the writing? Um, what part of the paper would it be? The top. The top. What do we call the top? Of top. The, paper? the introduction. Very good. You make me. Sentence. <laughs> Your thesis it's sentence. Because it's a control freak. And if there's a sentence in there that doesn't go with it, what does the thesis statement do? Cries. It cries. It says, get off my paper. Pass. Pass. Right? But isn't it cool that it, in 15 minutes you wrote a paper that's already a two. 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 two? So what do we need to work on now? Three. Three. Re revisions. That's what she thinks. Okay? It's a thought shot. It's a detail, but it's a thought shot. What she thinks. See what else she has. Yes, this is a good example. This is a great example. Because she's telling us, it gives us the weather, and it lets us know if there's going to be a tornado. It was awesome about the weather. So more details like that. Maybe when she's talking about Mexico and learning about other places, she could talk about that a little bit more. Now, once she made her revisions, what would she need to do? Um, rewrite it. Rewrite it. Rewrite it. Okay. This is, a, I mean, for 15 minutes, what do you think about this paper? That's good. I think it's good. It's amazing. It, it is. It's, it's already a 2 plus, well on its way to a 3. Okay. So good job.